For the past two months, I have lied to all of you. My main obby grinds have not been Tower of Watermelon, the Citadel of Void segments, or even a secret tiered obby grind. Me failing the first jump on floor 7 of Tower of Watermelon? That was all an act. I mean, come on, do you really think I'm that bad at the game? All I needed was an excuse to take a break from that much easier grind so that I could put 100% of my focus elsewhere. I have been grinding something much greater. Something which absolutely none of you could have ever seen coming. Today, I will reveal exactly what that is. Introducing my new hardest completion, Baby Dog Tower. This tower has the most diabolical obstacles you will ever see in any obby. From psychological warfare at the very start with dead babies all over the ground, to insta-kill usage more punishing than in Citadel Avoid. Spinners that are sure to make you too dizzy to even play the tower. This is the new hardest obby completion on Roblox. It is estimated to be around mid-high infinite impossible omega death error xd difficulty. Let's jump into the completion right after today's sponsor. Are there no good games on Roblox? Do you need a game that'll instantly cure your boredom? Try Escape Running Head. Being chased around by a giant baby head is so much more thrilling than Jato, or any other game for that matter. And if you use code Skibdy Toilet Sigma Ohio Gyat Kaisenat, you'll get a gazillion Robux. Limited time offer. This is a part where I speed up by talking super fast to the point where you can't even understand what I'm saying. If you can't understand this, help, please help me. The brain is taking over. This is not a real sponsor, by the way. Like, what the gyat are you thinking of? This is real. Floor 1, like I said, is where the psychological warfare begins with a bunch of dead babies everywhere. There are also kill bricks, which give lots of boo boos. I heard it's almost as painful as stepping on Lego. Oh, you wanna know about the gameplay? Uh, gameplay is gameplay, as they say, you know how be. <laughs> Why am I doing this? This floor takes 2 nanoseconds. Okay, next! I must point out a massive issue with this floor. I spent 5 hours looking for it, and it turns out there was a tiny hole you had to fall through. Not enough indication. Once I did find it, I slept on a banana peel and fell right into insta kill. Very sad day. The other issue is ladders. Ew, icky, why so slippery? What I do really like is the design on this floor. I mean, just look at it. The particles here look so cool. I almost wish there was more. This floor has wedges at the start, which are kind of cool. Look at tower vacant hydrances. That tower has wedges and it's fun. So that means this is fun too. Spinners and long jumps were a teeny bit too hard for me, but it okay, I got better. Conveyor launch you like... This is a good break floor with Jake the Dog from the hit TV show Adventure Time. I give him best back massage. Floor 5 is where things start to ramp up. You will now see why this is rated mid-high infinite impossible omega death error xd opposed to mid. Gameplay so hard only the gamer known as Tass is able to beat it legit. Luckily I am friends with Tass so he showed me how to do it. This portion is super tricky to learn. I am colorblind so I see both colors the same. I have the best memory though, so I was able to manage just fine. Now for the most infamous section in the whole tower, the whimsical daredevil dastardly thingy-mabob doohickey spinner. You need to see far into the future to have any chance at passing this. Now you may be thinking, what if I don't have such powers? Uh. We get another break floor with some lore about me. So cool, probably the best floor in the tower. Or well, it would be if it wasn't for this last sign here. Grrr. We turn on serious mode once again, just like the sign says. For reference, this floor is 1 billion times harder than the entirety of Citadel of Void. Just look at this gameplay. I know you are quaking in fear right now, so to help take your mind off it, you should like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell! Hardest part of floor 7 has to be the outside, as the things couldn't get any more cruel and punishing. Wait a second, those words remind me of another tower. Eh, who cares. You have to find 9 buttons and press all of them. Problem is, they were too heavy for me. That is, until I followed the diet of popular streamer Queso. Then, it was easy. I complain a lot, but this floor is stupid. The builder forgot to add a floor. How do you forget something so simple? I have a fear of heights, so it made this floor way harder than its intended difficulty for me. The elevators were super duper fun though, which made up for it. They make me go bouncy bouncy bouncy. Now that part at the end of 8 was too hard for me. I had to give up so many times cause I was stuck here for days on end. Floor 9 is short, but really scary. 
they put more of those insta-kill bricks all over the place, which is so mean. There's also this 100 stud jump into a 1 stud gap, which I had to use the most advanced speed glitch and fling combination ever to land it. Wowzers, we are far now. Last floor is also one of the hardest. I can't catch a break. Once again, we can appreciate the hand-drawn design on the frame. We've never seen design like this in any modern tower. The most precise camera control and PhD level knowledge of physics is necessary to land any of these jumps. With all the odds stacked against me, I made it to the final jump. High up in the sky over floor 7. Spinners that nearly made me vomit all around. I had to land one last jump. I failed, no! Just kidding, I always clutch up when it matters the most. And there you have it, my new hardest completion by a landslide. I want to thank each and every single one of you for supporting me throughout my journey. I have officially reached my peak. I have yet another announcement to make. I am quitting hobbies and YouTube entirely. Why on earth would I want to keep playing some stupid kids game when I can go play a way better game such as Fortnite? See you later losers!